All right, hello everyone. This is Plankless, and we're going down, and we're back with uh, something, something that uh, you may not have seen in a while. We're playing zombies again. Uh, Black Ops Cold War zombies, to be specific. And uh, this is a new game mode, or I guess a new old game mode that they added during the 80s, like, event. 80s month? I don't know what the fuck it's called, either way. Uh, okay, well, that's just what it is. It's cranked. Look at that. Crank's back. Uh, this is, like, Crank 2. No time to crank or something. I can't remember what it's called. But uh, basically, they added some changes. Uh, I didn't really look into what those changes are. So we're just gonna we're just gonna play and see what changes. I had a lot of fun with the first crank mode, but I thought it was a little uh, I don't want to say half baked, but a little a little not as perfect as it could be. Uh, so I'm hoping there are a lot of changes here because uh, I would love to have this game would be super fucking cool, just like the last one. Again, nothing against the last one, just the fact that it felt a little bit uh, it, it just felt like playing zombies uh, with like different hats, basically. Like, nothing drastically changed enough to where it felt like a super cool new experience besides just having a crank mode for zombies, because, like, yeah. I think that, I think it's going to pretty well there. I think I explained what we're talking about there, at least. So, yeah. I mean, so far, I'm seeing that the perks from the multiplayer die hard point are back. Or not, sorry, they aren't back, but they're in zombies, which is super cool. Uh, this reminds me a lot of the Road to Commander mod for World of War, where you basically got perks if you get, got a bunch of kills. I don't know if anyone remembers that. It was probably one of my favorite mods from the World of War time. Which is saying something because there were a lot of fucking mods for the World of War zombies. And like, I would say, honestly, like I might be being, this is obviously nostalgia talking, but honestly I think about like 75% of them were really fucking good. Like there were, there were a lot of really good maps to choose from and I'm incredibly jealous. That, or I guess not jealous, I'm incredibly sad that I never got a chance to, uh, to really like play all of them. Because they were so good, dude. The Simpsons map was amazing. There was a Minecraft map that was super cool. Uh, maybe a little bit uh, bland, but it was super cool. Like, uh, what, what's it called? There was like a moon map before. Or there, was, there was a moon map that was like different to like the actual official moon map because it was like like the outside of the moon and you just jumped around in like zero G and shot zombies forever. Like, I don't know. Like, there were so many creative fucking maps. And I'm sure there are for Black Ops 3 Zombies too. I'm, I actually guarantee you. The Black Ops 3 zombie maps are probably better. I just haven't played them all yet because, uh... Honestly, I don't even know why. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should make a series out of it. I'll just, like, I'll explore the, uh... The Steam Workshop. Because playing custom zombies maps used to be my fucking life. Like, that used to be the only thing I did over the summer. Especially during the Ghost Age. I wasn't a big fan of Ghost. If I haven't made that completely obvious with everything else I've said in this fucking channel. Oh, yeah, I, was, I wasn't a big fan of Ghost. So I played a lot of zombies over that summer. Yeah, I'm probably not going to do my entire, unless, I don't know, it depends on how far I go, actually. Uh, but I'm probably not going to do an entire game. Uh, I just want to do this show off to see what changed. And, uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, it doesn't look like anything changed, actually. Or, sorry, it doesn't look like a lot of things have changed. Technically, it's pretty much the same. But whatever, yeah, I'll go for a little bit. I'll go for a little bit. Oh, man, I'm getting all the way fucking... If only, I need to really need to be a Dark Matter. Or, uh, not Dark Matter. Uh, Plug Diamond. No. Dark Aether. Dark Aether. Dark Aether? Dark Aether. I need to get that. What I want to know is, do I still need to turn on the power? I notice all the mystery boxes are uh, Oh, God. Wait a minute, come here. Sorry, I saw that guy. What's it called? Um, I still need to uh, figure out... Like, do I need to do this? Let's find out. I do. Oh, no. That's terrible, actually. I hate that. <laughs> I like it better when Pack of Winters is already like, basically done for you. I don't know how I'm going to protect this shit. Oh, I also have this. Wait, what, what is this? Is this zombie blood? I thought this was the overgrowth, the over, uh... Yeah, the overgrowth, uh... Like, camo. Not camo. Special ability, but it's not. So I have no idea what the fuck I just did. Can I tell? Is there, like, a place to tell? No. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I think maybe I'll do that, actually, because honestly, the more I think about it, the more it sounds like fun. I might do a, uh, maybe, maybe just, that'd be like my special, uh, my special summer series, where I just play through, uh, custom zombies maps over the summer. So there's really not, I'm assuming my luck shit's gonna change your destiny. Like, sure, we'll have the season, like, recaps and stuff, but I don't think anything's gonna drastically change there. I do want to do an expunge, uh, speedrun, because it's part of the weekly triumphs, and I want to, uh, attempt to get that. So I'm probably gonna do, uh, like, record my, my runs, uh, and hopefully I can get something better out than, like, the, uh, the solo, so lonely dungeon video that I still need to go back and complete. Honestly, I feel bad for just, like, stopping that cold turkey, but 
I was not playing well. And the more I practiced, the worse I felt. So, like, it was, it was bad. It was just really bad. Okay. So this should be the one for Jug. This is gonna suck. Oh, actually, I'm pretty sure the more zombies I kill, the faster it charges. So this might actually be way easier. You're not supposed to look at me. You're supposed to only be focused on the other thing. Yeah, Fox. Oh, cool. That guy's here. The mimics. If you were, uh, if you were, if you were unaware, if you didn't uh, play this map. But I probably should mention that. This is Firebase Z, the new old map that came out in, like, fucking... God, January or February, maybe? I can't remember, but either way, it came out a while ago. Yeah, this is that. I was gonna do a live reaction to that, but I couldn't help myself. I had to play it, and I couldn't record it the time I was playing it for the first time. So, uh, so you didn't get my reactions. But basically, I just went, wow, what a cool map. I like the, uh, I like the aesthetic of, like, a Vietnam camp. This is honestly what I thought... Uh, Shinger Law was going to be like when I first shot, saw Shinger Law for the first time, and uh, I'm not a fan of the of the stupid challenge you have to do every like 12 levels or whatever, where uh, you have to basically defend like an, an area from an onslaught of zombies. Not a big fan of those. I've never liked objectives and zombies unless they're like simple objectives. Like that was one of the biggest things. One of the biggest reasons I hated Advanced Warfare Zombies was because you they gave you like random objectives like oh diffuse this EMP or whatever, and you had to, like, do it in the middle of the round. It was super annoying. It was almost never fun. And as a solo player, it just pissed me off. So I almost never played, uh, Advanced Warfare Zombies. L luckily, I was in the multiplayer that year. So I had something to grind besides that. But, yeah, I hate it. Uh, besides, I think, the first map. I think Burger Town had a really annoying thing where they protect hostages from zombies as they, like, ran to a save point. That was fucking annoying. Uh, the map where it's like an underwater base, you had to defuse stuff, and if you didn't defuse it, that room, that entire area of the map was fucking unavailable for like a long time, I think. Like it's two to three to five rounds. Like, yeah, that shit was super unfun, super annoying. Never liked that stuff. And honestly, the fact that Jerry finally, like, I guess gave in and started doing, doing that for this uh, makes me a little sad, not gonna lie. But hopefully, uh, it was a one time thing. When it works though, like if you're if you're actually prepared for it, uh, it's it's pretty fun, I guess. Just kind of like mowing down ways of zombies with like nade palms and all kind of artilleries and stuff. It's kind of cool, but again, I'm uh, I don't know. I don't know what you could add to zombies to make it more unique, other than objectives, because objectives is like the next logical step to zombies. Like, oh, you have these zombies, they infinitely spawn. What can you do to make it more interesting, round by round? Obviously, add challenges to the round. That just makes sense. It just tracks logically. But just. I guess the challenges are what annoy me. I don't know. I, maybe I should do a commentary on that. I have so many fucking commentary ideas for COD, though. I need to think of some for Destiny. I need to, like... I try to stop myself from posting too many COD commentaries, because then it, the channel is just all COD with, like, a Crucible it once a week, and I just feel like that's wrong. So I try not to do that. Uh, how am I? Running out of crack. But I do have commentary coming up soon about, um... You'll never believe it. It's about I'm not gonna spoil what it is. And uh, for the one person listening who knows, uh, it's not Fatigue Play yet, so that Fatigue Play will be out by the end of the summer. I'm putting this in video now so I can fucking force myself to do it. Fatigue Play will be out by the end of the summer. Just so I'm not, like, training to around 400, let's, uh, let's actually try to do the objective. I kind of got off track, but I do want to talk more about Firebase B. Firebase, Firebase Z again, because, uh, oh, fuck, I need to go the other way. Uh, because I've never, I've... The thing about this map is I do like it, but, uh, like, I've never actually gotten really that deep into it. I, I probably need to do that. Maybe I'll do... God, apparently this is just, like, the brainstorming episode of fucking Crank. But to be fair, uh, they changed so little that I honestly can't really talk about Crank, because I, I can't really tell the difference of what they did besides forcing me to start off with a knife and, uh, having the mystery boxes be everywhere, which is fine. Like I said, I do like the game mode. So I'm fine with it not really changing drastically, but, uh, I don't know. I guess I kind of hope for more. Uh, oh, man, I like, I like artillery better. That was unfortunate. Oh, cool. I didn't know if it dropped streak, so I had to, I had to do a little bit of whining. I, this is one of my least favorite reactor cores to protect in the few games of, of uh, Firebase C I've actually played. Uh, 
Uh, and it's, again, it's because it's difficult, so I guess you, I, you're probably noticing a trend in things they don't like and things they like about zombies. Close. Okay, I saw a uh, skull. Which usually means boss. I wonder if the manglers are back. Playing, playing the mangler, or playing a map with the mangler around you and the back zone memories to the Black Ops 3's DLC cycle, though. Like, goddamn, I played uh, Gorod Krovi the night it came out. Uh, and loved it. I think, I, honestly, I, like, the more I think about Black Ops 3, the more I think it's better than Black Ops 2. It had so many good maps, and it, again, this is totally probably solely talking. Uh, but, like, it had so many, every, I think every single map DLC besides maybe Zezebo, and I'm the only one who likes Zezebo, I feel like, but, uh, obviously, like, I have a friend with because I'm, I'm sure there's a, a small group of six people who like it just like me. But, like, I think every single map was fucking amazing at launch. It was fun to play at launch, I should say. It was amazing, like, flawless, but you know what I mean? Uh, it was amazing to play. It had, uh, like, the, the Easter egg, like, watching the Easter egg streams was a blast and a half for all those. And I didn't watch, all, the only Easter egg, <sighs> God damn you. Go away, Mimic. Go away. But, um, the only Easter egg stream I watched in Black Ops 2 was for Origins, because I stayed up all night playing Origins with everyone. Which was, uh, just fun time. You know what, that's a lie. I think I actually did watch the Mob of the Dead Easter egg run, too. I think I watched Barry, too, actually. Because I think... For all three of those, I was watching uh, Next Gen Tactics do their live stream because they used to do live streams all the time for for zombies. I don't know what they're doing now, uh, so shout out to them if they're a dead channel or if they're now like a I don't know a fucking conspiracy channel or some bullshit. Like who knows what happens? But fucking ten years is a long time or eight years. I don't know. I'm not gonna do math right now. I'm gonna the zombie attack. <laughs> but yeah, like uh, but like watching all those uh, all those streams. With people uh, grind. Oh no, my dead. This is it. So what does that do? Like I want to. It's it's obviously not zombie blood, but it also kind of is because those guys like stopped hitting me. I wish I knew. I need to go look what that is when we get out of this. All right, what do you say? Well, I'll probably go until uh, 15. I think that's a long enough time. Ooh, monkey. But yeah, I think 15 is fair enough. That's enough time to get the idea that this is just a uh, crank mode. Literally crank mode with extra steps. Like, I know that's a meme, but, like, actually. Well, I'll tell you what I need to do. I'm not die. Oh, yeah, dual magnums. I'm sure that'll sound great on the fucking recording. I feel like the zombie should run a lot faster by this round. And crank. Come on. I still want to know the, uh, the story behind why the fact that these guys look like Marcos. I mean, that implies that they're, like, keepers. Or keeper adjacent, I think. Uh, if I'm remembering my, my zombies lore. So that means the keepers are still alive. Which means that all of Black Ops 4's story was kind of useless. Which is uh, an interesting thing to think about. Either that or some Apothecans maybe escaped into, like, the Dark Aether. Like, the deep aspects where they couldn't be destroyed or something. I honestly don't know. Like I said, I have not catch up on the zombie storyline. I kind of, uh, I wouldn't say it fell hard off. Fell off hard, I mean. Uh, but I, I definitely didn't keep track as hard as I did during the Black Ops 3 time. Which is probably another reason I like Black Ops 3 now. We're going full circle with this. I do believe Pack Punch is that way. Uh, there we go. Let's fuck it. Either we'll die, or we'll, uh, get to round 15. Either way, it's a win-win. Yeah, okay, so at least Pack Lunch is already open, although I'm- Yeah, because you usually need to talk to that dude and be like, Hey, open Pack Lunch. He's like, no. I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. But yeah, alright, so we did that at least. Oh no. Hello? Hello? Oh, I'm dead. Well. Here's Tombstone, if you haven't seen it. Tombstone has returned, and it is like this now. You, uh... You get to keep your weapon, which I don't know why that wasn't in the original Tombstone. I still can't believe they made you spawn with a fucking pistol. With Tombstone. Still blows my mind to this day. Tombstone would have been such a good perk. Like, Tombstone in Black Ops 2 basically turned into a... Uh, had a cheat for all the six perks in town. But it could have been so much better. If, oh, you know what? No, I'm thinking of... Um, yeah, Tombstone... To, they, I forgot. They, they combined Tombstone and Who's Who. That's what I was thinking of. Who's Who was the, was the perk. Or was the... Uh, was the one that lets you run around as a ghost, basically, to revive yourself. Uh, speaking of who's who, it also has one of the sickest, uh, per 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 per
It's it's tombstone. Or yeah, it's tombstone. Uh, who's who? Mule kick. I I rank them all. Maybe I'll rank them all in the edit. Edit punk list uh, if you want to. Rank them all right here. If not, maybe I'll do a fucking video about it. Goddamn. That's the um. It's the name of the game right now. Apparently. It's. Oh 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 no oh, no no no! I didn't know what would happen. Oh, look at that. Do I dare myself to run through the artillery? Am I attached? There we go. That hit my quota of one CDL, one CWL or CDL reference per video. Hope you enjoyed. I also, oh yeah, so, uh, what's it called? They combined, the smartest thing they did was combine Who's Who and Tombstone because, uh, those perks did not need to be separated because they're basically the same thing. Hey, look, I made it to 15. Okay. Hey, buddy. I like how when he grabbed me, the zombies ran away. Okay, uh, let's let's find out what this thing does for time. For real. You do something, so it like confuses. It, it's like a it's like a confuse ray. If you get close to zombies, they can. No, okay. I don't know what it does then. Yeah, okay, overall, I guess I'll do my final boss of crank right now while I'm waiting to die. Uh, I honestly, I, I'm kind of disappointed. I kind of wish they added more. Uh, again, this, this crank mode by itself is still super fun, and I'm still uh, like. I think spawning with the knife and having the mystery box spawn everywhere is a super nice change for the beginning, just to make it so like if you, if you're spawning with your loadout, it's like infinitely easier. So at least if you have to use mystery box, it adds a lot more fun to it. But uh, I, I, unless I'm just missing what they added, uh, I honestly uh, I don't see a reason why to call this crank two, crank hard, or whatever they called it. No, no crank to die, I have no time to crank. I don't know what they call it, but anyway. Uh, I don't know. I'd love, I can't wait to see what crank three, the crankening, or. The crank, crank struck the bolts. I can't think of another uh, stupid joke, stupid action movie with a joke name. And I know they had to add this to the action movie event, or else it wouldn't really make sense. Although they kind of added the other one to it randomly anyway, so I don't really know. What that was. Either way, uh, I, would, I can't. I hope the third one. What would I like to see in the third one? Hmm. That's the thing about this is I'm, I'm disappointed they didn't add anything. But also, I don't know what they would add. So, and usually I'm all about that like pine the pine the sky thinking about like oh what if they just added this this and this and this so it'd be super easy and I'm definitely not a developer so I have no idea how hard that shit would be to add like so I'm, I'm usually all about that so I don't know why I can't think of anything right now maybe uh, maybe kills I, I thought I, the longer you get kills the more perks you got but that's obviously not true so maybe adding the perks from multiplayer that you get from multiple kill streaks into um zombies would be kind of cool maybe have no perk buys available and you can only earn perks through uh through getting kills so like 10 kills you get juggernaut 15 kills you get speed cola 20 kills you get tombstone etc like i don't know maybe have a round where all the zombies like a, not a round but have like a chance for all the zombies randomly to turn into boss zombies i guess it'll depend on the map like i can see that being annoying for mimics and for the fucking atomizer guy on the die machine i don't know I honestly don't know what they could do for this. Uh, and no, I'm not going to go to round 20, I've got 17. But, uh, yeah, uh, overall, just final, final thoughts, final, 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 final thoughts. Uh, the changes are cool, if a little unnecessary. Uh, the game mode's still great. Uh, 10 out of 10 would play again. In fact, I'm playing it right now, and I'll probably play it one more time. Um, can I die? Let me, let me just, uh, hey buds, come here. You are some attractive looking zombies. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna go when we get back to orbit. Orbit. When we get back to the main menu, I'm gonna go see what the uh, what the infographic says about this uh, game mode, and from that we'll go. Anyway, okay, there we go. So let's go to crank. No time to crank. Info. Get cranked. Kill a zombie. Start your crank timer. Keep it ticking with zombie eliminations. Fail to kill before the timer expires, and you go boom. Uh, Tringo boom. See you. Start on with a knife, and all mystery boxes are active and have curated weapons and support. Okay, so it's different mystery box. That's kind of interesting. I guess that's the best they could have done with the situation. One more thing I want to check before we go. What the fuck was that... was that... uh, ability? Oh, it was healing aura. I'm an idiot. I'm so dumb. Okay. Well, at least we figured out what it was. What is Frenzied Guard? To target... Oh, cool. So it's like an aggro builder that's pretty nice actually i could see that being helpful for like if you actually play with friends too bad i don't do that anymore uh but yeah all right cool i might be able to figure that out because it was gonna drive me crazy if i didn't but anyways uh this is mr punk was favorite mobile bound sending out i'll see you guys next time